Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. We mentioned yesterday about uh, a, a pioneer Christian figure that died and went to be with the Lord in his, in his old age, and that was Paul David Yonggi Cho, the uh, founder-pastor of the largest individual church in the world. But on that same weekend that Pastor Cho entered the presence of Jesus, there was another influential Christian leader who also went to be with the Lord, and that was Colin Urquhart. Now, Colin Urquhart was a Church of England vicar who had a mighty experience of the Holy Spirit and really just had a desire to share the gospel for people to be saved, for people to enter into the fullness of God's love and walk and live in the power of his Holy Spirit. Therefore, uh, he, he set out on a ministry uh, and he, he, he wrote a number of books, uh, Come Holy Spirit, My Father is the Gardener and things like that. Uh, whenever we were ministering in England years ago, we had Colin Urquhart came and preached a number of times in the church where we were ministering. Uh, he was very influential and really influenced a lot of churches and a lot of ministries that have reached so many people for Jesus since then. But one of the things I will always remember Colin Urquhart for is his emphasis on revival. Not as revival, you know, up to that time, I heard a lot of people talking about revival. And it was always a long time ago. They would talk about revivals that had happened in the days of John Wesley or William Booth or Charles Spurgeon. They talk about revivals that had swept through Ireland back in 1859. And it was all about all these people getting saved and everything else. And Colin Urquhart really brought another perspective saying that you can have revival. In fact, I remember him saying that and he had a, he had a very intense stare and when he stared at you and spoke, it looked like you felt like God was speaking right into your heart. And I remember him one day, and I mean, I was only one in the congregation, but he's speaking from the pulpit. I felt like he was looking right at me. And he said, you want revival? You can have revival. You just need to want it enough. And that was like a light going on for me. I thought revival was just something that sort of, sort of happened. You know, it, if you were lucky enough to be around in the time of John Wesley, you saw a revival. And if you weren't, you didn't. Uh, but that's like you can have revival. And I remember laying hold on that and saying, Lord, I want to see revival. I, I, want to see, Lord, I want to see people being swept into the kingdom of God. And then Colin Urquhart said something else. He said, but the thing about revival is it starts with the church. Okay, that, that was, I thought revival was all about non-Christian people getting saved. But he said this, he said, there's a reason why it's called revival. It's talking about a fresh coming of life. He said this, you can only revive something if it's been vived in the first place. In other words, if revival is a giving of fresh life, well, that can only happen to somebody who's received life in the first place. So revival is primarily something that happens in the church. And when we want more than anything else to see God at work and to know him and to receive fresh new life from him, then God will send revival. And when it's genuine revival that happens in the life of the church, then that overflows into people coming into the kingdom of God. You know, back then I didn't know that this would be possible, but I have to say that over the years I've seen, I've, I've been part of churches where we've seen people coming to Jesus on a daily basis, coming and receiving him as Lord. Not because we had some clever evangelistic strategy, but because people were coming to know Jesus for themselves. And whenever they got revived, they couldn't help sharing about it with their friends and their neighbours. My heart is still for revival. I still long to see the church receiving fresh life. The, the people that have already been vived by the Holy Spirit getting revived once again and sharing their faith with everybody around them. And I would just like to pray for you today. And I pray in Jesus' name that you will know a personal revival that you will know the power of the Holy Spirit and the life of God 
coming upon you afresh and exciting you and equipping you and calling you to live for him and to reach out for others. Yes, I thank God for Colin Urquhart. Thank, thank God for his influence upon the church. I thank God for his influence upon my life. And I thank God that Colin Urquhart is now standing in the presence of his risen Lord Jesus in, and he is rejoicing in the love of Jesus Christ. God bless you today and join us again next time for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.